Happy Tuesday, crafty friends, and welcome to hashtag not by design, an open collab hosted by me, where you take anything and use it for something it wasn't intended for. So today, I've been outside, <laughs> and this is a cicada wing, and I have used ink on it to make it colored. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Uh, so here's another piece of one. This one could be a part of a dragonfly's wing. I don't know. You know, if you just go outside and start looking for stuff, it's amazing what you can find. And here's a bird feather. Now, I was going to try to combine these to make myself a, some sort of hmm, mythical creature. Um, but I think I'm just going to use those two. So, but... We will try to color this together and see what happens. Because you never know. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is, and when this is glued flat, it won't, um, I don't think it'll come apart. I mean, you know, it might, but I don't think it will. And then I'm going to use this paintbrush as the body and... I'm gonna try to put splatters like wherever it goes. It's painting. All right, so I probably, looking back, should have used alcohol ink because it dries so much faster. But um, I had this close by because I've been using it. So, you know, there's that. So that's all I did. And then, I used water uh, to make it spread, but I think this time I'm gonna use alcohol so it'll maybe dry faster. And look at that. Oh, my lanta. Oops. Then things like that happen, but it's okay because you know, it's going to run down where it's going to run. Alright. So. Ugh. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, let's see what it does on here right quick. Even though we're not going to use this. You know, I might start collecting and use them later. I can make this turn into a peacock looking feather maybe. Without the peacock. And then let's see if I got any. Got some green. Put the green on the end. All right. And since I don't have to worry about this drying fast, I'm going to spray it with water. And paint with oh my look at that look at that side of it oh my oh my oopsie still wet obviously isn't that gorgeous can you see it in my end screen uh okay so, I'm going to put this on here to dry, and then we're going to try this part. All right, so I'm going to stamp this right to there, I think. That's the plan. That is the plan. Okay. Now I'm going to have to 
get it way over here so that my wings will show up because they're little and this is kind of oversized but that's okay because it's you know it's my own my own uh, made up creature okay so that's good now let's just take some of this and this one is dry, I think. Um, oh yeah, I think I'll put it like this. Okay. And I only have this side because this was actually in my pool skimmer. You know, you find all kinds of treats in a pool skimmer. Um, if I had two, and you know, at some point I will have two. I'm gonna have to keep pressing that down. All right, and this one I know is still wet. I'm gonna put it on there anyway. Mmm. Oh my Atlanta! Can y'all y'all? I know you can see that. Let me hold this down just a second. You can see all the veins and all the detail in there. Oh, so cool. Okay, I'm probably going to have to keep pushing that down. Oh, my. I just meant the, the ever-loving out of my glue stopper. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Alright, let's mash this down again. See, patience is not my virtue. You know. When I stick it down there, I want it stuck. Okay, so let's uh, do I want to use? What do I want to use? <coughs> I don't know how this will react if I just put it on this paper. No, I better not do that. <laughs> Did y'all hear me go, buck, 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 buck? You know, when you're just doing something, you don't know what kind of results are going to happen from it. Okay, so let's see if I have a Copic. Uh, that's not exactly it. So, the question now is, will I go for something that I think is exactly it? Oh, that's much better. Now. Loving it. Oh my. I love it when things can just come to life. Let's see here. I've got a gold. I've got a gold pen. To make these highlights gold. Because you know. That a. You know the iridescence. That um. And I've got that on my hand. Okay, so now let's take the black. Let me get a different one. That one has an end that I've been doing no telling what with. Need an eye, an eye, and an eye. Okay. Come on. 
there we go there we go now it's getting sticky enough and i just pulled some of that off with my finger that's okay i'll pull some of this off too all right so now what i want to do is put some highlight in the eye because you know that is what i'm all about those eyes now now i want now i do want some splatters let's see and some smears Now, I like it. Okay, so I'm thinking, I think maybe a hmm, do I want to put. What do I want to put down there? Do I want to just watercolor and green? Maybe. Or do I want to stamp something else? Because I don't want to take away from what's here. So I'm thinking maybe. Let's see if any of my water brushes have any water in them. That's a link of Stella. It won't work. Water brush. Water brush with water. Alright. Let's just bravely go. See what happens. Mostly, I know I have to color, cover that up. Otherwise, it always screaming at me that it's there, and that's never a good thing. Now let's use all kinds of different greens on here for a grassy sort of effect. For my thumbnail, I'm going to show y'all a picture this morning when I, you know, I go outside every morning and tend to my flowers and check out my turtle and all those kind of things. And, uh, oh, everything was just so colorful and, you know, we've had, like, for a week it was cloudy and it stormed and it was, I could not live in England or wherever that it does that, San Francisco. Whew. I got to have me some sunshine. It's depressing. Um, but anyway, now that the sun has come out, you know how everything loves that that good old rain from heaven. Nothing that you just, no matter what amount of water you try to do, you are not going to match that as to what it does for everything. So um, anyway, everything is just so pretty and so happy, which makes me happy. And so I thought I'd share it with you. I think that's, I think that's good. What do y'all think? How's that for a not by design? So go outside. You know, sometimes you'll find a leaf that's nothing left but the veins. And, you know, or it looks like nothing's left but the veins. And I bet it could do the same thing. Um, 
You just have to kind of catch it when it's not uh, crumbly, you know. Let's move this over here. Woo! What do you think? I love it. I love it. Stick wing. Okay. Anyway. There it is. Oh. Mm. Oh. I might have to glue that right there. <sighs> I don't know. Should I? Should I? Should I? If I lay it down on there and it's wet, it's going to get... Oh, yeah. I'm going to make it flurfier. Oh yeah, it's happening. It is happening. Okay, here we go. Now you get back there. Now again, it's going to take it a minute. Oh, wait. That is a creature from somewhere. Parts unknown. Parts unknown. Okay, now it's finished. I still might need to hit it with some splatter. Let me know what you think. Okay, well, there is my hashtag not by design for this week crafting you can use anything and I mean anything don't hold back because you never know what you might come up with right all right hope you enjoyed this I'll make it into a card and we'll see if I you know the reason I hesitate with splatter is because you know sometimes it don't work out quite like you want it to and and I don't want to I don't know. We'll see. It might happen. All right. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this. Love you guys. Get crafty. Blessings.